because you brought it up, obviously, Jaden Sancho. There's been quite a lot of talk about the fact that he hasn't been included there. Do you think that's a, the wrong decision from Gareth Southgate? Because he's called a few names up that have been questionable as well. He's defended why he's done that. But there mm. are a few people, let's say, letting off some steam about that England call-up. Yeah, maybe they can. But Jaden Sancho, frankly, hasn't really done enough since he went to Manchester United to force his way into the England team. They've got quite a few um, you know, players contesting those wide positions. So Sancho has to do more in the next few weeks uh, before the squad is announced. He's got, I think, about eight weeks. So you know, m more of what he did tonight... You know, he looked a bit more. That goal was, you know, almost like an excerpt from his um, career at Dortmund. But, you know, Marcus Rashford is, a, is another case in point. He's injured at the moment. He hasn't played for England since the European Championship final. Um, so he's, it's the wrong time for him to get injured just when he was beginning to start to make a little bit of a case and look a little bit more like his old self. But, you know, they picked um, Brentford's Ivan Tony, And frankly, if you ask me, he deserves it. He, he, he's in pole position almost now to be the backup to Harry Kane. And obviously that's fair enough and that's great to see for Ivan Tony. But then we're seeing the likes of Harry Maguire, Luke Shaw. Gareth Southgate was asked about some of these names. He said they have and can still continue to produce for England. Has he been right to call them up? He has also admitted that he knows they haven't been doing as well for their sides. And some of these names, if they've even playing, been playing that much for their sides. But that is a problem for England, for, sh for sure. Um, Harry Maguire... How many minutes is he going to play for Manchester United in the next few weeks? He's got the Manchester derby coming up pretty soon. I doubt if he's going to be selected for that. It'll be Martinez and Varane in the centre of defence. So it is a problem. Uh, Luke Shaw as well hardly kicked a ball this season. Uh, Calvin Phillips hardly kicked a ball for Manchester City. He's there as well. So these are problems and there may be reasons why you wouldn't fancy England that much at the World Cup. How hard is that, Stevie, if you're the player that hasn't been playing that many minutes with your club and then you get called up to, the, to play international games? Granted, this is two friendlies coming up, but still. I can only imagine how difficult physically it will be. Listen, you, you, can, you can go running and do all kinds of things to keep yourself somewhat fit, but the difference between being fit and healthy and being match fit are two completely different things. And for Harry Maguire or anybody else not to be playing, not just regularly, but at all, to then be asked to go and play in a World Cup finals, I don't think any manager, any manager could put their self or the rest of their team on the shoulders of somebody who hasn't kicked the ball. That's unfair to everybody involved, particularly the player. So... If Hannah Maguire doesn't kick a ball between now and the World Cup, I don't see any way that he can be picked to play for England. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.